Welcome everybody. If you have been here before, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Today we have a fun core focused yoga and Pilates fusion. For this particular workout, we will use a soft mini ball. We'll get started right away in a supported fish position. So once your mat is rolled out and you have your ball, you'll turn to face the front of the mat, knees are bent, feet are planted, and then you'll place the ball back in between the shoulder blades as you start to roll onto the ball. Once you're in a comfortable position, arms are released alongside the body and then your head will drape back. You can adjust as needed. There's a little bit of core engagement to keep a neutral pelvis here. And we'll take just a few moments to connect to the breath and to bring ourselves to the present. Inhales and exhales through the nose. Noticing the sensation of the breath in the body. And then you can play around with the placement of the arms for a stretch through the chest, opening up the heart. And wherever you are in the breath cycle, empty the breath completely. Together we inhale through the nose, open mouth sigh. Two more times like that, inhale, exhale, release. Last one, fill up. Exhale, let that go. Find a natural cadence with the breath. Fingers interlace behind the back of the head and you'll use the hands to support you as you lift. So now we're in a position to where there's some core engagement and we'll move into chest lifts here. So you inhale in the neutral position. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Feet are firmly rooted into the mat. Ribs knit in. Allow your head to be heavy into the hands. Slow and controlled movement here. Each time you come back, allow yourself to press into the ball. We have a few more of these before we add on. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one here. So this time we'll lower. As you exhale, lift and crunch towards the right. Inhale, lower to the center. Exhale, lift up towards the right. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So we isolate the right side. Contraction through the right side, obliques. Heat is starting to build. Keep the pelvis neutral. If this doesn't feel too difficult, don't worry, we will add on. We have a few more here. Last four. Last three. Last two, last one to the right. This time we'll move right over to the left. So come through the center, exhale to the left. Inhale, lower down, exhale to the left. Inhale, lower, exhale to the left. Slow and controlled movements here. Really connect to the body. Connect to the muscles that are working. 
feet are still firmly rooted. There's engagement through the inner thighs to help keep the pelvis stable. We have a few more and then we'll add the legs. Last four to the left. Last three. Last two. Last one. We come through the center. This time as we exhale, lift through the center and lift right knee in. Inhale, lower tap, right toes. Exhale, lift through the center. Inhale, lower, tap the toes. Exhale, lift. Keep moving. Really focus on the contraction with the exhale. See if you can empty the breath completely. Each time you lean back on the ball, really keep the core engaged so that you're not flaring the rib cage up. We're about halfway through and then we'll add the twist over towards the right. Keep the head heavy into the hands. Release tension in the neck. We have a few more. Last four. Last three. Last two. One more here to the center and then we'll add the crunch over towards the right. So inhale, lower through the center. Exhale, lift up towards the right. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift, bring left elbow towards right knee. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Perhaps the twist with the leg helps you crunch a little bit more, inviting a little bit more core engagement. Left foot is firmly planted, engagement through left leg to help keep the pelvis stable. We have a few more on this side. Last four. Last three, last two. After this last one, we go back through the center and we'll lift left leg. So right foot plants, we come through the center. Exhale, lift left knee in. Inhale, lower, tap the toes. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, tap the toes. Exhale, lift. Keep moving. Find a little bit of length each time you lean back, but you wanna make sure your core is still engaged. So there's a lot going on here. Neutral pelvis. Knit the ribs in. Head heavy into the hands. Try not to rush the movement. really controlling the lift and lower equally. Last few here and then we add the twist. We have four, three, last two, last one here. Now we ha add the twist to the left. Inhale, lower through center. Exhale, lift right elbow towards left knee. Inhale, lower to the center. Exhale, twist and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, twist and lift. Right foot firmly planted. Engagement through right leg to help keep you stable as you twist. Connect to the breath. We have a few more. Last four on this side. 
last three, last two, one more here. Slowly release, keep the hands behind the head, roll on the ball, so now the ball comes to the low back, feet are planted, knees are up, then release the arms alongside the legs. You'll lift a right foot off the earth, start to pump the arms, you inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. We're moving through hundreds with the legs lifted. Last 10 on this side. Then you'll lower your right foot, lift your left, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep the engagement through the core. Ribs are knitting in. We're almost done. Last 10 here. Exhale. Lower the foot to the earth. Release the pump of the arms. Then we lift and lower. Lift and lower. Ribs are knitting in. We have five. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Hold at the top. Breathe for five. Four. Three. Yes, you can. Two. One. We roll over to right side. The ball comes underneath your right side rib cage. Legs extend out. They're slightly angled towards the right corner of the mat. And then you'll cross at your arms in front of you. So lower yourself down over the ball. Then as you exhale, lift, crunch, left side oblique. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Slow and controlled here. Just like we did on our back, we start with less complicated movements and then we'll add in a little bit more to make it a little bit more difficult. We have a few more and then we'll add in the lift of our left leg. Last four. Last three. Last two. Small movements are okay here. Last one. Now we add the lift of left leg as you lift up, lower everything down, exhale, lift the torso and the leg, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Lots going on, starting with a lot of core work and then we'll move into a little bit more of the combination with some yoga poses. We went right into it, keep breathing. We have a few more and then we'll add on another layer. Last four. Last three. Last two. One more here. Lower down. This time your left hand will come to the earth. You'll keep your right arm crossed in front of you. As you lift, you'll press into the mat lower down. So there's a little bit of a tricep press and lift, lower down, engaging through the left arm and tricep to lift and lower down. You might find that you can lift a little bit higher with the help of the arm, but we want to make sure that there's still engagement all through left side oblique. Slow and controlled. Check in if there's any tension starting to form in the face. We have a few more and then we'll add the leg just like we did without the arm. Last four. Last three. Last two. Left side is definitely on fire. Last one. You can do it now. We add the leg. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Yes, you can. 
Find your center. Use the breath to help you find strength. Dig deep. We have a few more. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one here. Slowly release. We rotate around so you'll come onto your knees and come into a child's pose with your hands on top of the ball. Take a moment here, enjoy the break, allow the forehead to drop down to the mat. Last breath in stillness. And then we'll add a flow. So you'll inhale, lift, roll the ball up. Exhale, lower down into child's pose. Inhale, lift, press the palms into the ball as you lift. Then exhale, lower. Keep the ribs knitting in, core is engaged. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Keep moving through this. Try to find as much length as you can as you lower yourself down onto the ball. We have a few more here. Last four. Last three. Last two. One more. Then slowly release back down into your child's pose. Take a moment here. Find length all through the back. Pull the hips back towards the heels. And then you'll begin to make your way up into a tabletop position. You, the ball will be underneath your right hand and left hand is on the earth. Begin to press yourself up away from the mat. We'll move into a thread the needle and the hand that's going to be moving is our left hand. So there's going to be a big stability challenge here with your right hand on the ball. If at any time it becomes too intense, just remove the ball from underneath right hand. So we'll inhale, lift left hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread, we flow. Inhale, open up, exhale, thread. Inhale, open, exhale, thread. Slow and controlled. Check in with your core. Gaze tracks left hand. We have a few more. Lots going on in right arm, last four. Last three. Last two. Last one here. Then this time we thread it through, allow left shoulder to come to the earth, and then you can roll the ball out up towards the right corner of the mat. Take a moment, find your breath. And then if you rolled the ball out, bring it back in alongside the face. We press the palm into the ball, release all the way up and then we'll find our left hand to the mat. Go ahead and extend left leg back, pivot, right foot open, and lift yourself up into a supported side plank. So we have weight in our right hand here, left hand firmly presses into the mat, and then we'll add a flow. So you inhale, lift up into gate pose, exhale, release, supported side plank. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. 
Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Keep moving here. Lots of engagement through the left leg, firmly rooting the blade of left foot down. So we find the stretch on the elongation and then the strengthen through the transition. We have a few more here. Last four. Slow and controlled, last three. Last two. Last one. And then we'll release, hold in your extended side plank. And then you'll slowly release, bring your left knee underneath your left hip. The ball comes in between both hands. There's a little bit of tension on the ball. As you inhale, lift the ball overhead, arch through the back. Exhale, round, bring the ball in front of you. So we're moving through a kneeling cat-cow. Inhale, lift, ball overhead. Exhale, round for cat. Inhale, lift, cow variation. Exhale, cat variation. Keep breathing and moving. You can close your eyes to really connect if you would like. And then as much or as little tension on the ball as feels good for you. So if you want a little bit more of an arm workout, you're really gonna squeeze on the ball. If you want a little bit more of a therapeutic rest, then you'll just gently hold the ball in between the hands. It's up to you. Just a couple of more here. And then we'll move into the other side. Last one. And release the ball in front. This time the ball will come underneath the left side rib cage. You'll extend the legs out. Find the position with the ball, find the position with the legs, and then when you're ready, you'll cross the arms in front of you. Lean over the ball, inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. We have a few more before we add in the lift of the leg. Last four. Again, it's okay if these are small movements. Last three. We really just want to focus on the contraction. Last two. Last one here. Lower down. This time as you exhale and lift, lift your right leg up. Lower and lift, lower, and lift. So we really want to move with muscle versus momentum. Connect to the breath. A few more and then we add on the arm. Last four. Last three. Last two. Ooh, last one. And you release your right arm 
down so your right palm is on the mat and then we lift on the exhale, lower back down. Lift on the exhale and lower back down. So now that we have a little bit of assistance with our right tricep and right arm, you might be able to lift a little bit higher up. We wanna make sure we're not losing any of the contraction through the obliques. So still a lot of strength. We're moving from muscle versus momentum. We have a few more and then we'll add on the leg. Give me four, three more, two more here. Last one and then we add on. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. I'm right here with you. We'll get a nice juicy stretch. Keep moving. Slow and controlled. We have a few more. Last four. Last three. Last two. One more here. Lower yourself down, roll over. We find our way into child's pose. Ball is underneath the hands. And first just release and relax. You can even wiggle the hips left and right. On your next inhale, we'll lift up as you press the palms into the ball. Exhale, lower. Make sure the core is engaged. Inhale, lift, press. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and press. Exhale, lower. Move with control. Really focus on the muscles that are moving and supporting you as you lift and lower. And there's an equal control with the lift just as there is with the lower. We have a few more. Last four. Last three. Last two. One more here. Then lower release, child's pose. Find length through the back, pull the hips back towards the heels. Arms pull forward towards the top of the mat. Then begin to press your way up into a tabletop. This time the ball will be underneath the left palm. So again, if this starts to get a little too intense, you can always remove the ball and bring your left hand to the earth. Make sure your knees are underneath the hips and core is engaged to support you. Then you'll inhale, lift right hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread and hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread and hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread and hover. Your gaze tracks your right hand. Try to lift up and away from the ball. There's a lot going on here.
We have a few more and then you get to rest in the twist. Last four. Last three. Last two. One more here. And you can let your right shoulder, right ear relax down to the earth. And if you would like, you can bring the ball up towards left corner of the mat. Deep inhales and exhales. And if the ball is up towards the left hand corner, bring it back outside of the face. And then you'll press into the ball to unwind and right hand plants. Go ahead and extend your right leg back. Pivot so you open up towards the right, right hand overhead. You are in your supported side plank. Right foot firmly presses down into the earth. On your inhale, lift up for gate pose. Exhale, lower back down into supported side plank. Inhale, lift, a gate pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. So we find the stretch as we elongate and the strength as we lift and transition between each pose. It's a very dynamic movement here. Keep with it, we have a few more. Last four, really press the blade of right foot into the floor. Last three. Last two. Last one here. But then we hold in the supported side plank stretch. Then slowly release into the tabletop. We'll place the ball alongside the mat this time and we'll give our wrists a little bit of love. So go ahead and flip the fingertips back towards the body. You can rock forward and back here or find a figure eight. And then we'll flip the tops of the hands down onto the mat. If this feels a little too intense, just lean back and take some pressure off the wrist. And then eventually make your way into a heel sit and then go ahead and roll out the wrists. Then interlace the fingers, press the palms out in front of you. Inhale, lift the arms overhead. We'll move into another kneeling cat cow. Exhale, round, this time without the ball. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. This time, exhale, release the hands alongside the body. So we'll use the ball only for therapeutic. So go ahead and place the ball alongside your right leg and right palm presses into the ball. Your left hand can either drape alongside you or stay on top of your left thigh. Then the lower left ear to left shoulder and stretch through the right side of the neck. Breathe here. And slowly release. You keep the 
hand on the ball and then start to shift the weight into left hip and lift your left arm overhead. Find length all through left side body. <sighs> kind of like a mermaid variation. And then slowly release back to center. So I'll turn and face you so you can get a different angle. So the ball will come underneath the left palm this time. Right hand can be alongside the body or on top of right thigh. Then lower right ear to right shoulder. Stretch through left side of the neck. Breathe here. And bring the chin back to center. Shift the weight into the hips over towards the right side. And then right arm comes overhead. Find length all through right side body. Breathe. Mermaid variation. And then slowly release. Ball goes off up to the side. We'll make our way into a down dog. Hands plant. Lift the hips to the sky. Go ahead and pedal through the feet. Then you'll inhale here. Exhale, tap the knees to the earth. Inhale, lift down dog. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Ribs knit in. We have just a few more. Slow and controlled. Last three here. Last two. Last one. Find your way back up into down dog, then walk the feet and the hands towards one another to the center of the mat. Hang heavy here. Then lift the heels, bend the knees, lower yourself down onto the mat into a simple seat. Once you arrive in your simple seat, hands on top of the knees, integrity through the spine, chin parallel to the earth. You can keep your eyes open. You can have the gaze down heavy towards the earth or you can close your eyes. Take a quick moment here, scan through the body. Invite gratitude in for moving today. Gratitude for the strength of your body, the resiliency and for the practice. Prayer hands come to chest, thumbs press into the heart space. Thank you so much for tuning in and flowing with me through this dynamic yoga lattes practice. It is always a pleasure to guide you. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you.